In Track Editor, parameter wiring is fast and simple. Take this uh, character for example. We're going to set up the jaw control to be able to control the jaw bone rotating up and down and side to side. Now with controls selected, we can see the object's been set up with limit controllers. Those limit controllers are limiting the amount of movement in any one of the axes. For instance, we can see now that it has a list controller with the inactive list and the active list. And then we have the X position and it has a limit controller on it with its settings. If we right click on the limit controller, we can say open controller dialog and open up the float limit controller to be able to change the limit settings if we like. We can however also see that the upper and lower limits of that controller are actually wired. If we right click on one of those and say open controller dialog, we can then see what the wiring is connected to. In this case, case it's connected up to the rectangle that's around it and it's using the size of that rectangle to limit how far the actual control internally can move. This stops it from moving outside of the box. Let's set up the jaw now. So we'll start with the up and down, which is in the Y axis. So what we need to do is need to find the position Y under the active controller, which is this one here. And we need to set it as a uh, set param wire master. Now you'll see that there's a checkbox beside this already. And that's because a param wire master has already been set and is stored in the buffer. We can override that just by selecting it again and setting this new one. We'll go down to the jaw bone and select it. I happen to know that the rotation up and down is around the z-axis. So again, we're going to look at the rotation values that have been frozen. We see the active controller in green, and then the z-rotation below it. We'll right-click and we'll say Set Param Wire Slaves. This will open up the Param Wire dialog with a connection already made. If we pick the control object and move it up and down, we can see the jaw is moving, but just far, far too fast. In this case, typing in the expression times 0 0.05 should slow it down significantly. You might want to slow it down even more with a point 0 0.3. And we've now hooked up the jawbone to go up and down. For side to side, it's just as easy. Let's grab the x-axis, set prime wire master, set the jaw again. This time it's going to be around the Y. Set pram wire slaves. It opens up the dialog. Type in our expression. And we finish setting up the jawbone to work with the character. We can also use the parameter wiring feature in Track Editor to set up multiple tracks at the same time. In this case, let's make some copies of our teapot We'll set these ones to be red, and these will be the slaves, and the blue will be the master. We'll freeze transform on all those, and now we can see all the frozen tracks of animation. We're going to grab the first teapot, and we're going to make its for, um, zeroed out position, Z position, the master track. Select all of the red teapots, and we're going to set the same Z position track to be the slaves. When we check it now, we can see that they've all been wired together. At this point, of course, we can also change all of the expressions so they move at different rates. Parameter wire and track editor can be fast and simple for just dropping parameter wires on whatever we need for any given track. It doesn't matter whether it's in modifiers, object properties, on materials, or custom attributes. It'll work for all of them.